Hello and welcome back to GBA Let's Play, where we play the jewels and the junk of Nintendo's most advanced system. Uh, we to, yeah, On Tuesday, we played Bionicle. Today, we're playing Lego Bionicle. Completely different. Alright, let's actually have the sound on this time. Let's see if this game... Well, because clearly, clearly the reason that the last game was so dense and incomprehensible was because... It was the later in a series. Obviously, you don't want to start with the later in a series, so you got to start with... Okay, oh, and there's training, too. Excellent. Good morning. I've heard that Tarongo Winua wants to see you. Head to the beach and talk to everyone you see. You'll eventually come to the cave entrance on... Okay. Mm-hmm. forget to read all the signs. Hello again. Okay. Okay. Except... Select his inventory. Obstacles that have to be jumped. Stand still and press the B button for a short jump. Press the B button while running for an even longer jump. Okay. Neat! Already this game is even better than the other one. Live system. So oh, you jumped over those obstacles. So medium size block and press the A button. A button again to throw the object. Is used for throwing small objects like rocks, madu, fruit, snowballs, and discs. Ow. My guy is awful at picking up fruit, it turns out. As many villagers with madu fruit as you can. Just kind of go around in a circle, I guess. Already, this game is shaping up to be more fun than the other ones. I managed to hit 30 villagers. Okay, I guess that's a good thing. And once again, every time that I shake the tree, I get bonked on the head. You've learned a great deal in a short time. Cross water using hoi turtles as stepping stones before you can grab a startle. Startle a hoi turtle by jumping on or throwing an object at it. Walk next to them and press the A button to pick one up. Mm hmm. There we go, I made it to the other side. Uh, 
All right, I made it to the other side here, too. All right. Getting some portal gameplay in here, all right. Not bad so far. Is it possible that this game is actually not awful? I wouldn't be I mean, so far it's not terrible. I got my character's ungodly running speed notwithstanding. It's waiting for you, little one. The matter of green ports. Okay. Once again, I'm getting a very South or Pacific Islander thing here. Okay, uh, yeah, let's, first of all, let's see how many characters we get. Oh. The G button does not... Okay, oh, but there's also... There's also accented characters, which... Okay. Let's see how many characters I can go for. Actually, give get my oh nope. All right, well, GBA let's plot is fine. Oh, and now we get to create player. Okay, I get to choose the color of my mask, which I have no idea what this signifies, but I'm just gonna go. Uh, let's go over. Let's go with as, as horrifyingly clashing colors as we can. Let's go with garish blue, purple looks awful with this, oh, that, oh, that, oh, that sickly green, or oh, that yellow, I think the sickly, I think the yellow, I think the green is worse, so I'm gonna go with that. In the time before time, the island of Montanui was a tropical paradise. We learned this from the other game, but, you know, maybe they're repeating their backstory. Shadow fell across the island, okay. Shadow was known as Makuta. Dark years that followed the islanders put their faith in a legend. Legend that first saw the arrival of six mighty heroes, the Toa. Ah, those are the guys from the other game. So clearly we were just missing out on this important backstory. Toa will have the strength and courage to bring peace and light back to the world. Okay. As they await the Toa, the lone islander only begins a quest, a quest that will change Montanui forever. I've already done this. I already did this shit. I already did this train. So what's the point of the training mode if the main game has you doing the training too? No, seriously, what's the point of it? I already, I, di I did this already. There we go, I managed to make it across with the Hoy Turtle. Question, can I just make it across this? Yes, I can. What's the point of the turtles? All right. Gameplay is not bad, even. It's just kind of dull. But then again, this is also the same tutorial that I just repeated. Okay, here we are. 
You just picked up a Vuta Maka tree fruit. It gives you back some energy. And a Bulaberry restores some of your health. Okay. Good to know that we're still not out of the tutorial section. Guard number one. Halt! Who goes there? Yeah, who goes there? I already said that. Said what? Who goes there? But what? Oh my god. This is their attempted comedy. The drill of Winua has been lost. So damp in this village. Yeah, because you're we're in a goddamn cave. So we need your help. We fear that the Vatuka beast has Winua and he is being held captive and you'll need Vakama's fire staff to see your way into the dark tunnels that can be found in the village. Lots and lots of names being tossed at me. Drill of Vanilla lets you quickly tunnel under the earth. Okay. Sure. Great stepping stones. Yes, they do. I'm trying to find a thing right now. I think it was the fire staff. Ever seen a hoy, a hoy turtle? Yes, I have. I'm guessing this is where I need the staff of the fire staff. Oh, there's the there's the fire staff. Oh, these guys don't even have... No, no, he, he did have a unique line of dialogue. He was... He just... He defaulted back to it's so damp in this village. And we're... Uh, and I've apparently run out of dialogue for them to say. Yep. Okay. Okay, I guess that just forced me away. Ow. I guess it's just dead now, but it doesn't seem like it is. I guess that's trying to, like, say that I'm a non-violent combatant, but screw that, I want to kill some people. Alright, just kind of... Oop, that was not uh, that was not the right way to go. I'm running low on eh, no wait, I'm running low on health that I'm running low on. Ow. Oh, crap, I am definitely running low on... Okay, plan R is not working. Do any of these enemies drop health? Oh, there we go. And great, since that guy fell in that way, I can't... Oh, I guess I, I, guess I go this way. All right. Don't. Okay.
Yay, more health. Okay, avoid the boulder, yep. Again, Motunui and Matanui are very similar names and make me think that this game had some kind of Pacific Islander theme to it, which is neat, you know. I always like to figure out the inspirations of things, but... Ow. So all that was up here was just an energy thing, which I can't even figure out how to avoid, how to use energy. Oh, okay. Okay, that stuns it. Got it, okay. Okay, now that I know how to do that, and oop, I, can, I can do this one too. I think I need to. Okay, I took down a boss, I guess. I guess that technically counts as a boss. The music hasn't changed at all, so, you know, it's anybody's guess. But I think that was a boss. I also got more. I also got more health, which, okay. And dangerous beast spraying the infected mask of Makuta. The infected mask, okay. So the six villages on Montanui are in danger. I've heard that some of my fellow Turunga are missing, and their tools, like the fire staff, have been scattered. Have all has also stolen the sacred Toa stones that are used to tell the legend. You must seek out blah blah blah. The Toa stones are not recovered. The legend of Montanui can't be told. Last that is not the end of it. The tree of Vice Reaper Village has been poisoned. Only by finding the two crystals and returning them to the tree can it be restored. I just found the Volulutu launcher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This, this game is actually not bad, but it's also, you know, eh. Just, you yeah, fall in the river. Whoa. Oh, hey, I actually got like, a little image that time. Mm hmm. Okay. Like. Okay, so I guess I go up that way this time. That's the, that's the way that's open. Uh. And that works as a bridge, okay. Neat. So yeah, uh, I think I will come back to this game on Tuesday, mostly because I have nothing better to do, and also I have, you know, I'm going to be out of town, and I don't feel like looking up a whole new game to play on that Tuesday. So we are actually going to be doing Bionicle for more than one episode. The game's not bad, it's just kind of simplistic, which, considering it's one of the very first GBA titles, it's not surprising. Anyway, thank you very much for watching another episode of GBA Let's Play. And I will see you next time with more. Goodbye.